Next up on copycat.com, a McDonald's hamburger. This is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a McDonald's old fashioned hamburger before the 1980s when they actually grilled the burgers. Today they actually use a cooking method that presses the meat and cooks both sides at once. They used to grill them like this, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a seasoned salt for the burger because when you're cooking beef on a grill, you really need to season it because if you don't add the salt and pepper, at that time, it's not gonna taste as good. So let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna make our seasoned salt. We're gonna use two tablespoons of regular salt here. Now, I'm using a teaspoon, so I need to put six of these in here. All right. Then I'm gonna use two teaspoons of ground black pepper. I'm also going to use a little bit of a flavor enhancer called Accent. This is um, MSG. If you are sensitive to MSG, skip this. Or if you feel you don't want to enjoy MSG, skip this as well. So I'm going to stick about a quarter teaspoon of the Accent in here. It adds a little bit of extra flavor. It helps bring things out. So I'm just going to stir this in, and this will be our burger seasoning. You can use this on anything that you like. Then I'm going to just pour it into a salt shaker, an old salt shaker. All right, and we'll start on our hamburger patties next. So in this bowl, I have a little bit more than a pound of ground chuck. I like to use ground chuck for burgers. It has just a little bit of fat in there, has 20% or so along with the meat. So we're gonna take this meat and we're gonna divide it into eight equal hamburger patties. We're gonna go ahead and just put this right on the grill. I have my grill set to 350 degrees. If you don't have this, you can absolutely use a skillet. It'll work just fine. So, again, eight small patties. These aren't gonna be very big. So you just wanna kinda make them in a round shape the best that you can. And we're just gonna put these right under the grill. So after we wash our hands, we're gonna grab the salt, seasoned salt shaker, and we're gonna go ahead and give these a great seasoning. So while these are cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and toast a few of the buns on one side of the grill. I just am gonna lay them right here on the grill just like they are. This will make the buns nice and soft and a little bit brown. And we're also going to season these on the other side. So now it's time to go ahead and start to assemble the sandwich. So we are going to assemble it on the bottom. We're going to put five dots of ketchup down. We're going to put a couple squirts of mustard on. We are gonna put a couple of teaspoons of onions on. These are onions that I rehydrated. I used dehydrated onions for these. And we're gonna stick on a pickle slice. Now I think they only stick on one, but you know what, I like pickles, so I would always order mine with extra pickles. And we're gonna stick a hamburger bun on top. Alrighty. Here we go, we're gonna give these a try in just a second. So if you enjoyed this video here on YouTube, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and drop me a comment down below what you'd like to see next. So let me go ahead and take a bite of this. Mmm. Very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll check out many more of ours. Thanks for watching.